guys, so first things first, this amazing art is done by an amazing artist I commissioned on Fiverr called, and apologies for hefty mispronunciation that is about to happen, Abbebog. Um, I am nowhere near this skilled at drawing and I'm so happy I was able to commission such a brilliant artist for my avatars for my videos. So please go check him out, the links will be in the description, he is awesome. Now, the reason behind these types of videos coming about is both just something I had been wanting to do and also me sitting with myself and trying to think what videos I feel I could make that would be entertaining and I wouldn't need to try to organise shoot dates with others or spend hours getting into a cosplay to film. And I really something I'm pretty good at and always have been good at is rambling. Truthfully, if you ask anyone in my family, one of the main points they will say about me is I can talk for Britain or that I would tell a stranger my life story one or the other. So I thought why not tell you guys some of my life stories and perhaps even some stories I've been writing. Um, so without further ado, I thought in celebration of this first video coming out, I would tell you guys at the time I bust my face thanks to my overwhelming stupidity when I was seven years old. Because what better way to celebrate my first video in this style than with a story of humility that probably should have been long forgotten. You may end up realising that this whole thing is a theme with all these stories of mine in the future. The overwhelming stupidity part, not the busting my face part. Well, anyway, when I was younger I was known to be pretty accident prone and adventurous. Yeah, let's go with that. So it was summer and a few months prior I had been gifted a skateboard. One of those tiny my first kind of things. I'd seen kids skating around my area and thought it looked awesome. However, I never even got the hang of standing on my skateboard and ended up just using it like a seat on wheels more than anything else. I especially loved sitting on it as I went down hills, keep that point in mind. Now, it was a sunny day and the area I lived was pretty quiet. Most people were on holiday and for some reason I hadn't asked my then best friend across the road to come play with me. We shall call her May. In all honesty, if I had asked May to play that day, this whole situation probably would never have happened. But oh well, it's a bit too late for that now. So it's a sunny day and I decided to grab my skateboard and go outside. Now, our house at the time had a driveway. We didn't have a car from what I recall, but it meant that there was space for guests and such. Anyway, the driveway we had sloped downhill and it was the kind of driveway that was stones with some slabs laid in two parallel lines for the car wheels to rest on and a small walkway beside it. Because of this, stones would always be on the slabs and on the little walkway. So I decided I wanted to go down the driveway on my skateboard and started off by kicking the stones off the walkway. However, I had forgotten to not just check the little walkway beside our drive, but also clear off the actual public pavement in front of our house. So after thinking I was in the clear, I went to the top of our driveway and set my skateboard on the top slab. Now, it was at this point I went full stupid and instead of doing my usual of sitting on my skateboard in my usual manner aka butt to board, I thought it would be an amazing idea if I went down the slope on my knees. So that's what I did, I got on my skateboard on my knees and lifted my hands from the ground and let myself free roll down the slope of my drive. However, when I reached the bottom of my drive, I hit the pavement and a stone was in the perfect position to get caught in one of my front wheels and completely mess up my day. Since I was on my knees and not sitting normally with the, when the skateboard flipped up, I got thrown off with the previous downhill momentum still pushing me forward. Now, luckily the road where I lived was always silent, so there was no cars coming as I landed face first in the middle of the road. Unluckily, however, for some reason the road wasn't a nice smooth road, instead it was the kind of road that was all those tiny sharp stones. So due to that, when I hit the ground face first and slid for a couple of seconds across it before I came to a complete halt, it had done quite a number on me, to say the least. So dazed, I sat up for a moment, I felt fine as if nothing had happened, until I realised the red on the road, and on my shirt and on my hands when I touched my, sh my face. That's when the shock wore off and pain set in, although not as bad as you would expect thanks to adrenaline, and that's when I began bawling. 
Without getting too gruesome, my nose had taken the brunt of the tumble, and even though I had scratches all over my face, my nose looked as if somebody had just hit me with a bowl full of ketchup. Now, across the road, my friend May, who was in her garden playing at the time, heard me crying and came out to see what had happened. I was still sitting in the middle of the road, not moving, as she ran over to ask if I was okay. She took one look at me and ran to my front door. My poor mum answered, at the time feeding my newborn little sister, and calmly May told her that I had hurt myself. My mum expected a couple of grazed knees, so called my name to get me to come inside for the usual plaster and a hug. However, her face turned pale when she saw the zombie child that was her eldest child. She told me to come in as she ran inside to grab a cloth as I slowly plodded back into the house, my loud wails subsiding into small hiccuping sobs. With her free arm, my mum lifted me up onto the kitchen counter as she fed my baby sister in one arm, held the cloth to my face with the other and called my gran, who was a nurse at the time, on the phone pressed against her shoulder. Thankfully, despite the amount of red everywhere and the panic, I didn't need to go to hospital. My gran brought antiseptic wipes and other medical supplies and looked me over and bar really bad scrapes and some cuts, I would be fine. I definitely learnt my lesson that day and I don't think I ever used my skateboard again after that, except for sitting on flat surfaces and wheeling it back and forth. Definitely never downhill again and definitely never on my knees again. A few weeks later I actually went on holiday to Mallorca with my gran and my aunt and in the photos you can see the scrapes still healing and when I came home I was finally fully healed. But as fate would have it, at school one of my bullies had decided a fun thing to do would be to push me over onto my front, grab me by the ankles and yank me across the playground. And once again, for some reason, the playground at the time wasn't nice and smooth. It was the same sharp stones that had been on the road around my house. So after finally healing, I was back to square one with my mum being called to pick me up and take me home for the day. Funnily enough, I didn't cry the second time I bust my face, or rather, my face was bust by my bully. Um, I think by that point I had gotten used to not crying in front of my bully and by the time my mum arrived any tears I'd been holding back had gone away um, and that's really the extent of the story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and perhaps learnt from my mistakes. Never go downhill on a skateboard on your knees, it is not a good idea. I hope you guys will enjoy future stories I tell, both real life experiences and fictional ones I'm writing. A friend of mine has requested I perhaps tell some of his stories also, so look forward to them ones, they're really interesting. Also, the music used in this and hopefully my future videos were created by an awesome friend of mine called Gibby. He doesn't really have a page or anything he posts stuff on yet I don't think, but then when he does I'll be sure to link it in the description. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll chat to you in the next one. Bye guys!